Now, it was a tough morning for staff of Sport Pesa as they were hit with an email telling them that their jobs were no more, an email sent at the strike of midnight. The clouds had been gathering and now the rain has fallen after the battle between government and the betting farms has made the kitchen too hot to gamble. Sport Pesa and Betin have officially pulled out of Kenya, citing the government's unfavorable stand. But amid the exodus, Leila Mohamed found out that those who were running the betting shops had already started changing the service providers on whose platforms they trade. As government stays firm in its bid to regulate the gambling sector in the country, two major players are now opting out of the game in the country and now those who are directly affected by their leaving the nation, they say their livelihoods will be heavily affected. Access to the sport PESA betting website was not possible from Saturday morning. The situation is the same for the Bet in Kenya page with a similar site cannot be reached message. Some of their shops have been rendered to rooms with hanging wires and empty spaces. Those who operated from this location began moving their furniture and other items Friday as though in anticipation of the coming storm. Those who spoke to us off camera says that for a month now nothing much has been happening and they had already started to move to the betting firms that are not in the government's blacklist. A sneak peek into various parts of the city found many betting branded shops closed. The owners of those that were still open also told us off camera that they are not operating under the betting brand anymore and are working on rebranding. In a letter sent out to staff at exactly midnight Friday into Saturday, Sport Pesa CEO Ronald Karauri said that a decision to impose 20% excise tax adds to an already heavy Heavy burden. A decision, he says, is based on a fundamental misunderstanding of how revenue generation works in the bookmaker industry. He came out clear that it is prudent to shut down the Kenyan operations and the site as well. On Tuesday next week, all staff are to have a town hall setting meeting to address concerns. On its part, Betin sent out a memo announcing their redundancy plan, saying it has become financially impossible to maintain their entire workforce. The MD says that by 31st October, all positions will become redundant and that before then they shall have consultations with employees in an effort to achieve smooth redundancy. This has raised divided views from the public. What the government has done by... Uh, stopping the betting companies, for example, Sport Pesa, I felt uh, very much touched. Reason being, a club like Gore failing to travel to places like Nigeria just because they are lacking funds, I feel I really feel bad. Since kama wekezaji, tutaumia sana. Wa Kenya wengine nakuwa wa, wa, wa daifu kwa ku, kuishi. Wanakuwa tuwa kifikiria Sport Pesa peke yake, badada kufanya bidima isha ni mwao. Leila Mohamed, NTV.